Ooey, ooey, ooey. Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. <laughs> lovely day. <laughs> lovely day. Lock. Right. Good, beautiful morning, guys. How are you doing today? Hope you're feeling fresh and well and beautiful on this not so fine <laughs> Sunday morning. It's absolutely pouring down with rain today. Not the best of days we've had, but at the end of the day, this is what England's all about. We've just drove over into Glastonbury. We're gonna go get a cheeky little coffee. This is like what Holly always has to do. She literally has to run to keep up with me and I'm not walking very fast. No, you run here. It's pouring down with rain, love. Yeah, that's lovely in the rain. Yeah, we're going into Glastonbury. We don't normally come into Glastonbury very often, but we thought, you know, there's so many flipping, oy, like nice little local coffee shops around here that we're gonna sample them. <laughs> Like after I said yesterday, we should go sampling them. That's exactly what we're doing today. Yeah, they do. St John's Church. Right, we've got to choose where we're going to go, Holly. Okay, so we might try this place called the 100 Monkeys. Never actually been in there before. Oh. Looks rather steamed up. Is it even open? Hopefully. Evening special? Well, it says we're open. Okay. Let's go. Uh -huh. Entree, entree. Alright, so we've got ourselves two little lattes. Two cheeky little lattes. How is it? It's good? It's good. Nice coffee. I'll have to wait for about half an hour before I can even try to attempt to drink mine. And also, one thing with Glassberry, you're guaranteed to find like gluten free, vegan free, dairy free, whatever. Vegan free? Vegan free. So we've got this apple cake. It's really good. Vegan and gluten free. Winner, winner. Not chicken dinner. This Not is chicken. apple nuts. It's got like chunks of apple in it. Back out in the lovely weather. Lovely weather. Right, that was rather splendid. Good coffee. Coffee. I would give that a, a strong eight, eight and a half. Yep, an eight, I reckon. Enjoyed that one. It was very nice. And they had gluten free cake for you. And they had gluten free cake. Bonus. So that makes it quite actually. Right? Yeah, definitely. Why did we come out today? It's probably the worst day to uh, decide to go for a nice walk. That's why I literally didn't film anything of Glastonbury. It's a really cool place. Loads of really cool shops and stuff, but it's so oh. windy and rainy. Oh. The camera just went oh. with just water all over it. We'll have to come back. Go to a different shop. Yeah, come back. <laughs> so as it always happens, when we go into like a coffee shop, one of the reasons why I love doing it is you sit in there for like an hour drinking your coffee and it fires all of my brain braininess and I'm like so proactive to do things what I really want to do. So, we're going to try having a full on productive day, well afternoon, a couple of hours let's say. So I'm just driving back to Holly's parents house now because her car is actually here. Holly's got to catch up on some uni work and stuff and be productive. Productive. And I've got to uh, try start editing up the first video which is going to go onto my films channel. So I'm basically dropping Holly off now and then I'm going to go home, smash out some editing like all afternoon and then go do some baking. Baking? Yeah. yeah. Like we did last Sunday, going to make some more gluten free stuff because it's been flipping yummy and it's made me survive the week. Yes. yes. Right, so see you later on. See you later. You're not coming in? No, I'm going to go back and be productive, Be Molly. productive. Okay. It's nearly two o'clock already, so we're True. running out. The day is running out. Goodbye. See you later. Bye. Woo! <laughs> a bit of a flood there. There's a lot of uh, water on the roads. A lot of rain has come down in the last couple of hours. <laughs> I literally couldn't see a flipping thing then. I thought I'd treat myself today, guys, when I got myself some gluten-free bread and I'm going to eat some of which I haven't had in a very long time. Baked beans on toast with a bit of spinach on the side. 
and I also bought some links. But I don't think that's going to go very well with my food, is it? Stop me smelling, though. All right, so I've just done a couple hours editing. I'm trying to edit up a um, the first kind of video for my Barbster Films channel. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to it yet, go over to Barbster Films and subscribe and get ready for some awesome content coming very soon. Uh, you can either search Barbster Films or you can click the link in the description which will take you straight to it. I'm now going over to Holly's parents where I left her just now. We're going to do some more bacon like we did last week. Um, cook some uh, that gluten-free, wheat-free snacks. Ooh, that's like a ghost. <laughs> it's not a ghost. I hope it's not a ghost. Ooh, that'd be sketchy. Too scary for my liking. So what are you rustling up? Vegetables. Vegetables. Is that what we're eating? Yep, we're in vegetable soup. Vegetables? What else we got? Oh, you're not going to see them. We got roasters. More vegetables. More veg. You have got some chicken. We got some meat, well. some chicken. You're having chicken. Yes. I'm <gasps> just having vegetables. I don't know why, I'm just feeling like really out of it today. I'm like, I don't know if it's, I think it is because it's been such a grey dreary day it's just made me feel like ugh I don't know my eyes are just kind of stingy might be my contacts I don't know could be could be my contacts <laughs> but I just feel like I feel like I need one of those just lazy Sundays you know you just want to chill sit on the sofa put a film on and just chill out I think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna smash some food down because I'm so hungry we can just move the table into the lounge so we can eat dinner and watch a film. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just watch it on my laptop. That oh, would yeah. make more sense. Okay, yeah. Where um, <laughs> we start watching Better Call Soul, which is on Netflix. We watched the first episode a couple of days ago. I like, ended the vlog a couple of days ago and we just sat down, chilled out and watched the first episode. So we might watch episode two today, okay, possibly. Not. Okay, we will be watching episode <laughs> two tonight. But first, we need to cook up some of this stuff. Rustle up some of my gluten-free snack bars. Yes. <laughs> this is funny. I didn't have any like chocolate. Last week I melted chocolate down to stick it all together. <laughs> I didn't actually go and buy anything today. So I found <laughs> leftovers. some leftover Christmas chocolates, reindeers. So I'm just gonna melt down these chocolate balls and See what it's stick like. it together with the oats and stuff. That'd be alright, right? Maybe right, right? Perfect. That'd be alright, right? All right, right, right. right, I'm gonna sit oh, back right. down. Maybe one of these will maybe get rid of my tired eyes, Holly. I think it definitely will. You reckon? Yes. What's that? It's gonna be cheese sauce. A cheese sauce? Mmm. Alright. Is he done? Should be done. He's finished. Oh, that's cute. Oh. I thought actually like angled <laughs> out then. No. Is that it? That's gonna be too hot. That is probably gonna be quite hot. You yeah. Alright, this is rather splendid. Potatoes, carrots, chicken. No chicken for no Holly. Chicken. And a cheesy broccoli and cauliflower thing. Thing. Happy days. We got it all going on. Music. Vloggios. Foodios, happy day, yo. You deserve some of my food. I'm gonna have this now. So, if you guys want to actually try making some of these like flapjack kind of energy, um, kind of they're kind of healthy bars as well because all what's in them if you make is them healthy. <laughs> yeah. If you decide to make them healthy, all what's in them is like porridge oats, which are good for you. Some sultanas, some granola, and then some like just a bag of mixed nuts. And then to kind of stick it all together, which is a little bit of naughtiness, but you don't add like any sugars or anything. All I'm doing is melting down some chocolate. And a bit of butter. And a tiny bit of butter. And then you literally just put it all into a pan and just keep heating it and stirring it until it turns into a big like gloopy mess. And then you just swap it into like a baking tray or something with some greaseproof paper, smush it all down. Jobs are good in. Right, so first of all, all I'm going to do is get these nuts and put them into a little bag. If you don't have like a grinder or anything to actually mush them up with, all I'm going to do is put them in a bag, then I put a tea towel over the top of it, 
and then I get like a rolling pin, just a rolling pin, and then you just smash them and break them all up. And once you've smushed them up, they just look like all broken, broken up nuts. And then we're going to chuck them straight into the saucepan, like I can do this one-handed. Do it. Pour them in. Chuck all them in, and then add some more sultanas because those nuts actually had some in. But I'm just going to add a few more, and then just some granola, which this kind of gives it a bit, bit of a, a bit more of a crunch to it. Yeah. So chuck all that in, and you don't like. Well, I don't measure anything. It's just you chuck it in to the consistency you kind of want. Looking good. And then finally, you just grab your porridge oats, I'll leave this to Holly, and then just pour it in. Then this is like the bulk of the flapjack sort of thing. This is like the main, the main bit of it. So then you put as much in, stir it, and if you think it's too wet, add a bit more. If it's kind of too dry, then you might want to add a bit more kind of butter or something into it just to juice it up just a little bit. Okay, so when it gets to like a fairly thick consistency, so it kind of holds its shape when you smush it down, I mean it's not crumbling too much, we just melt up some of the chocolate and then we're just going to pour that straight into here. <laughs> Would you like some help? Yeah, hold the bowl, we'll scoop it out. Then like I said just now, the chocolate is the actual kind of glue which holds it all together and gives it that kind of sweet sweet taste there and you just stir it all in into one nice mixture okay so when it gets to a nice kind of like squishiness and it's kind of holding itself together all I've done is just got a little like baking tray chuck some grease proof paper in it and then all we gotta do is slop it on Oosh. <laughs> just like that and then grab this and mush it all into shape. All right, so then when it's all smushed down into the corners and it's all kind of holding itself together, the very last thing what I like to do is just chuck it into the oven just to kind of crisp it up and to dry it out just a little bit. Push it in there. There we go. Leave it there for what, like 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, I reckon. Jobs are good in. Wait, got the paint in. You gotta get this thing. And then 10, 15 minutes later, take it out of the oven. Jobs are good in. Cut it up into sizable chunks. Then you can enjoy. You ready to head back? We are ready to head back. You are ready! Unfortunately, I didn't bring my tin like the roses tin I had last week, so I'm gonna have to just carry it like one big slab of goodness. I'm gonna take this back. That was quite amazing. Mm. I was driving back with that in my car and it literally smelled like an amazing bakery. Oh no. So this is the best like car scent ever. Freshly bakery, cooked. Bakery air freshener. Yeah, bakery car. air freshener. Mm. That'd be amazing. It was a driver, I was like, you know like those cartoon film cartoon films? Cartoons, whatever. When they'd be like what? a woman, yeah, cooking like a pie and it like goes out the window mm -hmm. and they like <laughs> smell the pie in like Tom and Jerry days. Mm, That's yes. what I was like driving the whole way home. <laughs> right. And now we've made it home, I've got all the <coughs> bits of oat stuck in my throat. <laughs> you should uh, try cooking that. I gave you a little cooking lesson today. Did you enjoy it? If so, go ahead, make yourself a healthy, gluten-free, wheat-free, healthy should snack. Should have made more because Holly's going to graze. It does look a bit like bird food, but tastes Good bloody amazing. Food. Yeah, if you do attempt to make one of them, send me a picture or let me know how it goes. That'll be awesome to, to see and read and hear and all that sort of stuff. 
I'm going to end this vlog now. Um, hope you've enjoyed today's random kind of chilled out day. I didn't really do too much, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I've made it entertaining enough for you guys. Um, tomorrow I'm actually... Can you remember a couple of weeks back I was in Bristol doing a, um, a radio show? Basically, uh, I was directing like a radio show. Tomorrow is the day where we go into the recording studio with a kid voice actor and I've got to direct a kid voice actor in a recording studio tomorrow, which should be pretty awesome, different for me. I haven't done that before. So you guys can come along on that adventure with me. So I'm just gonna end this vlog right now. I'm just blabbering like I normally do right at the end of the day. Um, remember those three very important things, which are, blah, 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 which are <laughs> stay happy, stay positive, stay awesome. And I will see you right back here tomorrow. Goodbye. I've got three kilos of cocaine in my car. Um, okay. There's a couple of hookers that said they'll be around in about an hour. They're actually in the fridge cooling down at the moment from <laughs> last night. Yeah. <laughs>